Hi, this is Rose from Bighorn Library, and I'm going to share today an idea for a program about birds today. Children love birds. I love birds. They're beautiful, mysterious, and it's one of the fastest growing hobbies in the world. Birding, I mean. This is a terrific book. Not really one necessarily for preschoolers, but so much fun to share with children. It has uh, the calls of the birds actually included. I've opened it up to the red-breasted nuthatch, because that's local to where Bonnie and I live. And here's its call. <laughs> the book contains 200 birds from North America and beyond. Kids can't get enough of it. We had to do a little repair job on ours this week. They love it that much. Uh, but to share with the preschoolers, I chose a book by Mo Willems. If you haven't come across Mo Willem yet, he is really, really funny. I have trouble reading him with a straight face, and kids get a huge kick out of him. Extremely simple drawings, very funny jokes, and uh, just a few words on each page. Kids have to follow along to get the story by following in sequence, so teaches them those pre-reading skills that are so important at that age. Can't recommend him enough. He's written at least at least ten books, and we've loved every one of them, shared lots of them with our kids. After you've had a book about birds, then you want to go along and do a little bird craft. And here's the idea I have for you today. What I've done is I've taken uh, made stencils of uh, wing shapes and circles and ovals, put them onto a piece of paper that will then cut out so that we have lots and lots of shapes left over. And around here at this time of year, I'm using black and brown because most of the birds around here at this time of year are those colors. But towards spring, I might include yellow or blue papers. And if you're lucky enough to live somewhere where there's cardinals, you might want some red papers in there too so that kids can make um, pictures of the birds that they actually enjoy in their own neighborhood. Great way for kids to learn observational skills. Here's the finished product. We have one finished, one, one flying bird and one standing bird, and we drew on some things. And kids can use markers or wax crayons to add in trees or nests or anything, any other details they may like in their pictures. Fun little craft, not expensive, not complicated, but they end up with a pretty product at the end, and everybody's happy. Thank you very much.